Right, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm giving you guys my five top tips to improve your ball striking. Let's get into it. just before we get into the tips I just want to put out these five tips aren't gonna completely cure your golf swing you're not gonna come from a 20 handicap to a 10 um, if you have these problems that we're gonna discuss within each tip then it may help you um, just note that these tips aren't gonna uh, magically make you a better golfer but they can help you in certain areas um, so we're gonna go through them and potentially they're gonna help you so make sure you listen up okay so number one tip number one um, is a weight transfer drill. So what I mean by that is how to transfer your weight through the golf swing properly. Now I have a lot of clients, tons of them, who come in and struggle with uh, fat shots um, and thin shots, scooping the ball up in the air, not getting enough penetration. Um, and that's purely because, obviously, when they complete their backswing, they load their weight slightly into their right side. Okay, and then as they're coming down, they keep that weight and they have this position where their chest, their head, body is behind the golf ball. So they end up striking it either over here before the ball, the club is traveling too far upwards, so they top it, or they scoop it upwards and it doesn't go forwards and fly very far. So a drill that I get a lot of people to do, and if you're suffering with this, this can help, is I've got an eight iron here, so my normal ball position with an eight iron would be roughly in the middle of my stance. Okay. What we're going to do for this drill specifically is I'm going to move that ball position directly in line with my where my toes are. So my left toe, my lead toe. Okay, and from there, I just try and strike the golf ball and obviously then I have to excessively transfer my weight through to my lead side. So that's over-exaggerating that feeling of moving into the lead side, transferring that weight properly. Okay, so let's give that one a go. Put that ball position right onto my left toe and I'll try and strike the golf ball properly. So you can see there, for me to strike that ball, I've got to excessively transfer my weight into my lead side. Um, and then by doing that drill over and over, it gives you that feeling of what you need to do back with your normal ball position with an A time, roughly in the middle. And you just do that same feeling and that's gonna help improve your strike. Okay, so tip number two, and we're gonna use an alignment stick with this. It doesn't need to be a specific alignment stick, it can just be any stick. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to pop the stick about three quarters of the way down the club, okay? And then so there's a good kind of uh, foot of the stick above the club, this way. Now what this drill is used for is to stop um, hands flipping and getting too active in the golf swing. So this comes from fairly good players as well, and myself included. So a lot of players tend to get now this down flip the club a little bit through impact, so the hips stop turning, the hands flip and take over, and that can cause a lot of shots going left, um, poor strikes, just it's really hard to time the hands uh, through the impact area, because it's such a quick area, the hands are just, it's hard to time. So we always, the modern swing now is all about using rotation to time the club head. So this drill, popping the alignment stick down the edge of the shaft, here, as I swing through, if I flip my hands, you can see that alignment stick there is hitting the edge of my side. Okay, so you can feel it, you know that if you flip the hands. So I get a lot of people, when I have lessons, who struggle with this, just get hit and get some half swings and just feel like they rotate and don't allow that alignment stick to whack them in the side. So rotation to square up the club face not flipping okay so it's going to look a little bit like this okay you can see i'm rotating to allow that club head to square not flip i'm hitting the side 
So if you struggle with shots going left or you can see in your swing that your hands take over and do this action and flip, um, then potentially this drill is good for you to work on. Um, a sign that you might be flipping it, if you go right down the line, is as I get into this position here, if you can't see the face of the club, so you see the back of the golf clubs, that can incline that you've flipped it. Okay, so this, okay, that can mean you flipped it. Ideally, we'd like to see the face of the club in that position. So if you can't see that face, it could be you're flipping it. Um, so try this drill and that might work for you. Okay, so tip number three, and it's a three ball drill. Uh, so this drill is all about making sure you shallow the golf club out in transition. Now, a common theme with a lot of golfers is this move. So they complete their back straight up to the top and they chuck their hands and the club out and away from them. The club's coming in very steep and that can cause slices, massive pulls, lots of bad shots. We want to try and be shallow in the transition. And this is a drill I use for a lot of my students um, to help with that and not be so technical. It's more of a feeling and a task to complete. So we've got three balls here lined up in a diagonal, okay? Now the aim is to make sure you strike that middle ball. Now, if I was very steep and cutting across it, I would make contact with at least that outside ball. If I was really steep, which you might not think possible, but I have definitely seen it, is you take out all those three balls, okay? Now you can make this drill as hard or as easy as you want. Easier you separate the balls out, harder you bring them in. Okay, so this is kind of an average um, difficulty. So all we're doing is just making sure we try and strike that middle ball and this will allow you to transition more shallow because you're just focusing on that task, striking that ball. So there, my swing's nice and shallow. I've not cut across it or come steep come into contact with the other balls. I've just taken that middle ball out. So if you feel like you're getting quite steep coming down this direction, try those three, that three ball drill out. That should help you get a little bit more shallow on the way down. Okay, so drill number four, uh, similar to uh, tip number one in regards to uh, transitioning of weight. So this is called the basket drill or bucket drill, whatever you have, just needs to be an object. Um, so this is all about, as a lot of players come down into the ball, they don't transfer their weight properly into the lead side. Um, and what tends to happen is weight stays in the trail side, their ankle or heel starts to spin out, and that means there's weight this way. So you get, tend to get a lot of players having this action through the ball, and they smack that bucket. Now, the reason the bucket or the basket is there, purely and simply, is just to try and not hit that basket. So if I can make sure I transfer my weight into my lead side, let the right foot roll slightly onto the toe, I know I've transferred my weight properly. Okay, if you start hitting that basket, you know what you've done, okay? So, nice and simple, nothing too technical. It's more of a task to complete. Um, so we'll try and hit a swing here where I make sure I don't whack um, that bucket. Now, in an ideal world, what I'd like to say is use your fist uh, width away to where my heel is if you want to come in closer. So where my heel is, around a fist length away. So I'm going a little bit closer. That's about perfect. So a fist length away from the bucket or the basket. And then try and make some swings where you make sure you don't hit that basket with your right heel. Okay, so final tip, tip number five. We have got this one. Um, has it got a name? We'll call it the... stick drill. I haven't come up with a name for it. <laughs> but basically what this is for is a way to help either shallow the golf club out or slightly steepen the club out if it's needed to be during transition. So for example, if you're steep coming down, I will, for some players, if they feel uh, like they learn more in a task orientated way, so not, nothing too technical, what I'll get them to do is place an alignment stick or a stick in the ground directly in line with where the ball is okay so directly in line with where your ball to target line is so wherever the ball is and wherever your target is that stick needs to be in the middle in line of that target so for someone who's steep i'll line this up and i'll ask them to start the ball right of that stick okay 
So a lot of the time, this is one of my favorite drills because it is really successful. Pretty much every time I ask of this, their swing becomes shallow. So if I had a very steep swing and I'm lined up to my target, I put my stick in line with my ball to target line. Okay, a steep player will come this way and the ball will always start left, usually, of that stick. It'll look something like this. Okay, so that's side the left of the stick there. And often when I get them to try and uh, start up to the right, it tends to shallow their swing out. Now, unless I've got a very open club face, okay, more times than not when I'm steep, it's gonna start left. Okay, so by just getting them to try and start at right of the target, so this feeling of coming in to out, it tends to help. So let's try and start that ball right of this stick. You would have seen there in the video I was a lot more shallow on the way down. Now, you can also work that for someone who's too inside on the way down. You can try and get them to start that ball left of the stick. That tends to get them more, the club more out and away from them. But it is a really good drill that tends to not focus too much on technical thoughts. Um, it helps. It's just that task orientated um, drill. You know, I feel that that tends to work better for a lot of players, especially the higher handicappers. When you start to talk too technical, it, it, it bothers them really and doesn't work. Um, so try that drill if you suffer with being a bit steep or a bit shallow, it can work either way. Um, but hopefully one of those tips uh, helped you out. Um, let me know if you've tried them before, let me know if they've worked. And if you haven't, give them a go if some of those problems link with what you have. Okay, again, these drills aren't for everyone that's not for everyone's individual swing problems if you suffer with one of the issues that i talked about within each tip then give it a go and see what it does um, so thanks very much for watching please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video and i'll see you guys next time